is a common name for three bird species in the genera Pavo and Afropavo of the family Phasianidae, the pheasants and their allies. Male peafowl are referred to as peacocks, and female peafowl as peahens, though peafowl of either sex are often referred to colloquially as peacocks. 1. The two Asiatic species are the blue or Indian peafowl originally of the Indian subcontinent, and the green peafowl of Southeast Asia. The one African species is the Congo peafowl, native only to the Congo Basin. Male peafowl are known for their piercing calls and their extravagant plumage. The latter is especially prominent in the Asiatic species, which have an eye-spotted tail or train of covert feathers, which they display as part of a courtship ritual. The functions of the elaborate iridescent coloration in large trained peacocks have been the subject of extensive scientific debate. Paul Starlin suggested that they serve to attract females and the showy features of the males had evolved by sexual selection. More recently, Ernst Sahabi proposed in his handicap theory that these features acted as honest signals of the male's fitness, since less fit males would be disadvantaged by the difficulty of surviving with such large and conspicuous structures. The Indian peacock has iridescent blue and green plumage, mostly metallic blue and green, but the green peacock has green and bronze body feathers. In both species, females are as big as males, but lack the train and the head ornament. 2. The peacock tail, known as a train, consists not of tail quill feathers, but highly elongated upper tail covers. These feathers are marked with eye spots seen when a peacock fans his tail. Both sexes of all species have a crest atop the head. The Indian peahen has a mixture of dull gray, brown, and green in her plumage. The female also displays her plumage to warn off female competition or signal danger to her young. Green peafowl differ from Indian peafowl in that the male has green and gold plumage and black wings with a sheen of blue. Unlike Indian peafowl, the green peahen is similar to the male, but has shorter rubber tail covers, a more coppery neck, and overall less iridescence. The Congo peacock male does not display his covert feathers, but uses his actual tail feathers during courtship displays. These feathers are much shorter than those of the Indian and green species, and the ocelli are much less pronounced. Females of the Indian and African species are dull gray and or brown. Hybrids between Indian peafowl and green peafowl are called spaldings. After the first person to successfully hybridize them, Mrs. Keith Spalding. Unlike many hybrids, spaldings are fertile and generally benefit from hybrid vigor. Spaldings with a high green phenotype do much better in cold temperatures than the cold intolerant green peafowl while still looking like their green parents. Plumage varies between individual spaldings, with some looking far more like green peafowl and some looking far more like blue peafowl, though most usually carry traits of both. In addition to the wild type blue coloration, several hundred variations in color and pattern are recognized as separate morphs of the Indian blue among peafowl breeders. Pattern variations include solid wings slash black shoulder, the black and brown stripes on the wing are instead one solid color, high, white eye, the ocelli in a male's eye feathers have white spots instead of black, and silver bite, a mostly white bird with small patches of color. Color variations include white, purple, beautiful bronze, opal, midnight, charcoal, jade, and taupe, as well as the sex-linked colors purple, cameo, peach, and Sony's violetta. Additional color and pattern variations are first approved by the United Peafowl Association to become officially recognized as the morphinone breeders. Alternately colored peafowl are born differently colored than wild type peafowl, and though each color is recognizable at hatch, their peach plumage does not necessarily match their adult plumage.